The Royal Rumble is one of the most exciting matches WWE puts on every year. 30 wrestlers compete, with the winner receiving a world championship match at WrestleMania. Each wrestler gets a different entry number, and while some numbers are more favorable than others, there's one number that's best to avoid. Which one is that? Number 14. People have speculated that the number is Curse, and it's not as far-fetched as you might think. Allow me to prove it to you. Let's look at the first person to enter the Royal Rumble at number 14 back in 1988. The 14th entrant that year was a wrestler named Ron Bass. He spent about 10 minutes in the Rumble, and at first, it seemed like everything was okay. After the Rumble, Bass would feud with some future Hall of Famers and also co-captain a team at the 1988 Survivor Series. However, in 1989, Ron Bass would leave WWE. Then, in 1991, Bass had to retire due to injuries he suffered over his career, only about three years after he competed at the Royal Rumble. Okay, a bit odd, but that's just one person. Well, in 2006, Joey Mercury was the 14th entrant. After competing in the Royal Rumble, Mercury would not only lose the WWE Tag Team Championship, but he'd also be suspended for failing a wellness policy. On top of that, that same year, he suffered one of the most gruesome injuries ever seen in WWE. Then, Mercury was released in March 2007, a little over a year after entering as the 14th entrant in the Royal Rumble. Unfortunately, it doesn't end with Mercury and Ron Bass. From 1993 to 1995, the Berserker, Ray Apollo, who was Dwight the Clown, and Jacob Blue all entered at number 14. All three were released less than a year after their respective Royal Rumble appearances. In the 1996 Royal Rumble, a wrestler named Doug Gilbert was given the 14th spot, and he never appeared in WWE again. In 2004, Rikishi, who had been with WWE since 1992 and was a legend in his own right, came out as the number 14th entrant and was then released about six months later. The same thing happened to Orlando Jordan in 2005 and Stardust, aka Cody Rhodes, in 2016. Both wrestlers were released only months after they entered as number 14. Now, you could argue argue that Cody beat the curse, as he reinvented himself, founded AEW, and returned to WWE in 2022. In fact, he won the 2023 Royal Rumble. However, it appears the curse didn't go away without a fight. Shortly after Cody's WWE return, he suffered a torn pectoral muscle. Then, while training, the muscle tore completely off the bone, resulting in one of the most disgusting WWE injuries in a long time. On top of that, the injury kept Cody Rhodes out of action for over seven months. Perhaps this was the number 14 curse refusing to leave. Until in 2019, one of WWE's biggest stars, Dean Ambrose, got the infamous 1-4. And just two days later, the company publicly announced that Ambrose would not be renewing his contract and he left in April of that year. Then, the following year, Braun Strowman was dealt the 14th position. At first, it seemed like he had beaten the curse, as he won the Universal Championship shortly after the Rumble. Then, out of nowhere, in June 2021, the Monster Among Men was released after he had just competed in a WWE Championship match. Like Cody Rhodes, though, Strowman returned about a year later. However, his his second run in the company has been lackluster, and he's been out of action since May 2023. Are you starting to see why people say number 14 is cursed? Well, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Let's go back to the first 30-man Royal Rumble in 1989. The 14th man out was Marty Jannetty, who, at the time, was part of the Rockers with Shawn Michaels. They had some decent success, but Marty's career and life would take a nosedive almost exactly three years after the Royal Rumble. In 1992, Jannetty was arrested for possessing cocaine and attacking a police officer. After his arrest was over, Marty Jannetty returned to WWE, but was then released only a few months later for allegedly being under the influence during a match. This became a pattern for Jannetty. At the age of 45, he was re-signed by WWE only to get arrested again and be released before making much of an impact. Even after that, WWE re-signed Marty Jannetty only for Jannetty to be released once again. More issues have plagued Jannetty outside of his career. One such example is from November 2023, when Jannetty shared a gruesome picture of his right foot. Another victim of the Royal Rumble curse was Goldust, who was the 14th entrant in the 1997 Royal Rumble. He would be released from WWE several times after the event, and he, unfortunately, had trouble outside the ring too. The bizarre one went through two divorces and had a drug problem, which he thankfully has overcome. Jeff Hardy entered as number 14 in the 2007 Royal Rumble, and his career has been filled with controversy. Perhaps most infamous of all was in 2011, when he wrestled a match under the influence live on pay-per-view. On top of that, from 2009 to 2022, Hardy was arrested four times for a variety of charges. All of this is why the 14th entrant has been called cursed. But this isn't even the worst of it. In the 1991 Royal Rumble, the British Bulldog came out at number 14. Of course, shortly after the Rumble, the Bulldog had his career-defining moment of winning the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. 
However, things didn't stay that way. The same year he won the title, British Bulldog was released after allegedly receiving human growth hormones. After WWE, Bulldog joined their rival, WCW. Less than a year as part of the company, Bulldog would be released when he got into a fight at a bar. While the British Bulldog would wrestle again for both WWE and WCW, his career would continue to be plagued with injuries, run-ins with the law, and other issues. Sadly, Bulldog passed away in 2002 at the age of 39. In an eerie coincidence, Hercules, who drew number 14 in the 1992 Royal Rumble, died two years after the British Bulldog due to heart disease. Tragically, this wasn't the last time something like this would happen. One of the greatest of all time, Eddie Guerrero, entered the Tilson 3 Royal Rumble at, of course, number 14. Then, at the age of 39, Guerrero passed away in Tilson 5 because of heart failure. Umaga was another wrestler who sadly died much too young in Tilson 9, and the year before, he entered the Royal Rumble at number 14. Now, those who know the Royal Rumble might realize there's some obvious number 14 entrants who seem to have broken the curse. Jinder Mahal was entered 14 in the Tilson 12 Royal Rumble, and while he did get released two years later, Mahal returned in 2016 and then won the WWE Championship. This has to be a curse breaker, right? Well, no. Jinder Mahal's WWE Championship reign is universally considered one of the worst world championship reigns ever. Not only that, but when WWE announced that a former WWE Champion would return on the first Raw of 2024, Jinder Mahal was used as the butt of a joke. Okay, Jinder Mahal was a unique case. Let's look at the 2017 Royal Rumble. Kofi Kingston got the 14th spot in that match, and two years later, he won the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Not only that, but Kofi has been with WWE for over 15 years, despite many of the wrestlers he started out with having gotten fired. By those accounts, it appears that Kofi broke the Royal Rumble curse. But if you look at the facts, it's clear it did not. Since the 2012 Royal Rumble, Kofi has usually done an impressive stunt that saves him from elimination. Despite how challenging they were, Kingston always managed to pull them off flawlessly. That was until the 2017 Royal Rumble. That year, Kingston's rumble save saw him standing on the ring post and jumping to avoid a swipe. However, Kofi lost his footing, causing his ribs to get impaled by the ring post. It didn't stop there though. Two years later, during the 2019 Royal Rumble, Kofi saved himself twice, and both times it was clear they didn't go according to plan. Kingston didn't have a spectacular Royal Rumble save in 2020 and was absent from the 2021 match. However, in 2022, Kofi returned to the Rumble and disaster struck. About 20 seconds after Kofi got into the ring, Kevin Owens pushed him to the outside. Kingston was supposed to grab the barricade and avoid elimination, but his feet accidentally touched the floor. At the following year's Royal Rumble, it happened again. Gunther blasted Kofi to the outside, where Xavier Woods had a chair to catch his New Day partner. Kingston landed incorrectly and hit the floor, causing him to be eliminated prematurely. All these accidents started happening after Kofi Kingston entered as number 14 in the Royal Rumble. Perhaps this is how the curse has affected Kofi. Another very obvious curse breaker is Shinsuke Nakamura. In 2018, Shinsuke entered at number 14 and won the Rumble. However, when he got his championship match at WrestleMania against AJ Styles, this is where the curse first affected him. Styles and Shinsuke had fought a little over two years ago outside of WWE in a critically acclaimed match. A rematch between Styles and Nakamura should have been just as good, if not better, and yet, it was a letdown. Then, after their match, Shinsuke turned heel, which wasn't welcomed by the fans. Even worse, Nakamura fought AJ Styles three more times for the WWE Championship and lost every single opportunity. Since drawing number 14, it's hard to argue that Shinsuke Nakamura's career has achieved the same level of success. He may not have been as badly affected as others in this video, but Nakamura was no doubt a victim of the Royal Rumble curse. Now, let's look at more recent Royal Rumbles. In 2021, 2022, and 2023, Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio, and Baron Corbin all entered at number 14, respectively. While Corbin's most recent career has been a little lackluster, none of these men have really been cursed. In fact, Dominic and Priest are doing phenomenal right now. So, does this mean the curse is broken? Well, it's not that simple. In the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble, the 14th participant was Naomi. About four months later, she, alongside Sasha Banks, walked out of WWE because of how they were treated. Xia Li entered at number 14 in the 2023 Women's Rumble, and while nothing major has happened yet, her career did hit a hurdle. After wrestling fairly regularly on SmackDown throughout 2022, Lee was barely used through most of 2023. In fact, she actually got put on main event where she went on a seven match losing streak. Keep in mind, Xia Li had never competed on main event prior to the 2023 Royal Rumble. It appears that the curse hasn't been broken, but instead it's now infected the women's Royal Rumble. Okay, we need to lighten the mood. Hit this video to watch the most embarrassing Royal Rumble bloopers.